Come on, you must have a line on the gossip around here. What is it? Why, why is he so obsessed with it? Mm -mm. All I'm going to tell you about that book is to stay the hell away from it. Breathe. Let's breathe. You're okay. You're okay. Bobby, it is time to go. Okay. Get out of there. Evacuate all rescue personnel. Everyone off the plane now. Yeah, that means you too, Cap. I need a minute. A minute. In a minute, you'll die. Do you have kids? Yes. <laughs> Look, I get it. You don't like needles. But you're a lifesaver. That's what you do. You're a hero, man. And somebody just told you you have the opportunity to save thousands, maybe millions of kids. They're the wrong kids. I want my kids. A list of names. 62 so far. 62 of 148. 148. The number of people who died because of me. I'm not gonna die here. Because I'm gonna get you out of here, I swear on my life. If you go down, I'm gonna go down. Yeah, I'm some lifesaver, aren't I? That's what I was put on this earth to do, but I couldn't save my family. I couldn't protect them from me. 148. That's the number of lives that I owe for the mistakes that I made. And once I paid that debt, I get to be with them again. And I was halfway there, Jim. I was halfway there. I was good to see my kids again. That was the deal. Deal with who, Bobby? The deal I made with God. This job, it's the only way I know how to balance the ledger. Not that I can ever really do that. But 148 lives, I owe at least that much. And then I can go. So I guess the irony is, I may not live long enough to make it to 148, and that scares the hell out of me. Because that is your penance. And I don't know if my soul will ever be able to rest in peace if it goes unpaid. How long has it been? 546 days. We all have our breaking point. Maybe ask for help once in a while. blood test, and I thought, here we go, here it is, here's my punishment, cancer. After all the prayers I sent up there, so I could live long enough. I'm lost. I figured the only way for a guy like me to pull off leading a crew was by shielding them from my own personal damage. How'd that work out? You know, you're not talking about killing yourself, right? Yeah. I want out. I want to see my kids again. And I want this pain to end, but it's not going to end. It's never going to end. Because God's not punishing me by killing me. He's punishing me by forcing me to stay alive. I was fine for a while. I left my baggage at home work about getting the job done, getting things focused. They have given me their absolute trust, and I've given them nothing in return. That can always change, Bobby. All it takes is a conversation. There are things about me they just can't know. That I murdered my own family. You're gonna see a hero. I think I'm an addict and an alcoholic will have barely three days under his belt. I don't feel like a hero, I feel like a failure. One hundred and forty-eight people died in that fire, including me. I killed them. My own kids, my own family. I murdered them in their sleep. Choked him on smoke and burned his little buttons. Such a burden. Such a burden. 
carrying this all by yourself all this time. It's not the kind of story I want to share. With your friends? With your co-workers? I'm their leader. They have to trust me enough to follow me to situations where their lives are at risk. There is no room for them to doubt me. But you didn't fall off the wagon. You were pushed. I know, but it felt good. No, it made me feel free. I, I didn't feel as much of the pain. I felt like it was far away, like it belonged to somebody else. And I felt like if I could just keep floating, I wouldn't have to feel it anymore. What happened, Captain? I made some mistakes, and I lost everything I cared about. And I moved forward by never letting anybody get so important to me that I had to go through that kind of loss again. <laughs>